hello everyone welcome back so today we are going to see how we can handle or how we can configure our selenium framework to fit with your local execution and also when you want to execute that in your remote so in the sense if you want to execute in a server or let's say that you want to execute inside a container docker container how exactly we will be doing uh, configuring that so we have already seen both of the ways like we used to always so if you come back here into this so if you say driver equal to new chrome driver or driver equal to new firefox driver then it means that it is the local execution because the remote web driver is not involved in this right but if you want to let's say that you want to execute in a server or let's say that in your selenium grid or like standalone selenium server or even inside a docker container so at that moment we were using the remote web driver where we have to give the server url right where the selenium server is running so if you see here we used to always keep it as commented let's say that i want to execute in local then i have to come back here i have to comment this one and uncomment this one and vice versa whenever you need uh, either of the ways so today i'm going to show any easy approach how you can do that so that you don't need to really change anything into your code base okay so that's what we are going to see so it would be a quick video so let's continue so what we need to do we have already understood about the app.java file right in our previous session we have seen that this is one of the best alternative to your properties file where we can have the variables and also we can change these variables value directly from the command line when you want to execute it from, let's say that from the jenkins or adio pipeline you can utilize this app.java variables so let's utilize that here so what I'm going to do, I will be adding a new parameter or a new variable. I will say public static and here I will say again a string variable. Let's say that I will say environment type okay, or ENV. Let's say whatever it is there or maybe I will say platform. Okay, so equal to I will say system dot get property. And here again, as always, I will have to give the variable name and I have to give a what you call the default value. Let's say that the default value will be always local. OK. OK. So now my platform variable is ready. How do I utilize it into my base test? So here what I'm going to do. So inside this, I will be writing a condition here. So in each browser here, I will say like this and I will say if so if my type so what is the type app dot platform right and because it is static i can just utilize as it is only so i will say let's say equal ignore case and i will say local if it is local then what you need to do you have to execute or you have to call this per this particular line of code else i will say again another if condition here and I will say the same thing. So here I can make it directly else, but I want to make sure that somebody is putting the proper. So let's say that I will say remote. OK, so here what I can do, I can write like this and I can call this entire code here at this moment. I'm just copy pasting this one and I'm writing and this is to be else if okay so like this you can keep now what is going to happen you have to give your platform variable value directly from your command line so that what will happen when you say remote it will execute this sets of code actually so that you don't need to every time come back to your uh, code and change or comment or uncomment these things now the same thing i can real quick do this one here as well Now this port also you can even uh, what do you call it? you can change it from the uh, app.java file so you can have another one like Firefox port Chrome port and uh, all these things and you can even parameterize inside these things as well. So how do I run it? So here one thing that you need to make sure you can see it is local so always by default is local in the sense if I go to my terminal and let me make sure that 
all the okay so it will execute this particular test case or maybe let's see okay i have three test cases right at this moment i will run this one maven test and now here i'm not going to give any parameters here and now if i don't give what will be the default the browser will be always chrome and then the valid username password these are the app details and platform will be considered as local so let's see what is going to happen so let me enter to run the test and now as you can see it is running on chrome browser and also it is running in local actually here so three test cases it will be running one by one because i have not set it up as parallel or something okay so as you can see it ran locally so let's say that i want to run it from my jenkins pipeline or let's say i want to run it in docker container let's say that i want to do something else on my system and i have five to ten test cases are there which got failed into the jenkins and then i want to run that in local but i want to utilize a docker container so at that moment i cannot just do maven test actually here so for this what i'm going to do first thing is that i need to uh, raise that uh, docker containers right so how can i do that we have already discussed let me utilize a simple selenium standalone docker container so this is my chrome container how do i turn this up actually here so there is a command right we have already known about this so i will say docker compose okay docker compose and i will say hyphen f that stands for the file name now what is the file name so the file name is this one docker compose hyphen standalone and then yml and then up up means it will download if it is downloaded it will run your container so that when you run your test cases it will be running inside the container other than the local so first let me go into the docker container here and make sure that it is 4441 right so it should be 441 here and as you can see the chrome should run on the 44 and as you can see here started the selenium standalone let's see if this really started so here it's not 44 but rather i need to go with the 441 and as you can see the chrome container is ready let me even go to the vnc viewer also so that i can show you that it is really running inside the container so the password is a secret okay so now let me just keep as it is how do i run this one so the best approach is that i can go to this copy this path the entire path and then open my terminal if you are using windows you can open the command prompt and you have to navigate to the project folder and here you need to say maven test now if i run this as maven test what is going to happen this parameter will take it as local right but i want to change this parameter to remote actually so that it will run in my container okay so here i will say hyphen d platform equal to i will say remote that's it now if you run this one what is going to happen this will run in my container not on the local let's try and let's open my vnc player and as you can see now it is running inside the container now you can see i didn't uh, change anything into my code actually it is still stays as it is but that if else condition and the app.java file is doing the magic of uh, not updating the code at all and then you can run it okay so all my three test cases got run how do you see you can see here everything is green it means that it is uh, all executed correctly so that is how you should be handling your local or remote execution actually so whenever you want to debug anything you can run it in local whenever you want to log in or do what you call run it in some server or let's say into your docker container as per that you can change these urls but you really don't need to come and change anything into your frame or content okay so hope this session is really helpful and uh, do subscribe and stay tuned to this youtube channel we will be seeing some more interesting topics thank you for watching